Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, it's time here to have a look at the uh, official Lollipop 5.0.2 for the uh, Sony Xperia Z3 Compact, uh, which is the little boy of the family. Uh, and uh, with this device, we're getting uh, pretty high-end specs across the board. So I was quite looking forward to see how Lollipop would be uh, on the device. And uh, so far, I'd say that the uh, experience is uh, mostly positive. Uh, this is a very fast device anyway, because of the uh, quad-core processor, small screen, and the 720p resolution. Uh, and so far, the uh, update seems to have uh, retained a lot of the speed that you will know and love with this particular device. Uh, and I was quite worried, really, to see if... Uh, you know, it slowed down the device at all because that's what uh, some people have been reporting with some other uh, devices now running the official Lollipop. Uh, but you can rest assured that uh, you're going to get a very nice, snappy performance on this uh, with this build of Lollipop, which is uh, very nice and attractive. Comes with the same uh, kind of uh, notification shade that uh, you've seen on the other videos. Uh, with the ability to customize the uh, shade here which is uh, very nice of Sony to add also comes with the uh, ability to uh, get rid of the search button up here or search bar uh, so that you can make more space on this kind of small screen uh, and uh, I was a bit disappointed with the uh, Sony update in that it didn't really bring much new in the way of kind of like wallpapers uh, don't get me wrong I do like these uh, Xperia kind of wallpapers but if you look at the live wallpapers you can see here you know they really should get rid of these they shouldn't even be on the device in 2015 uh, but other than that your multi-user uh, is uh, seeming to be working fine which uh, we can just have a look at here so you, when you go into that you can enter a name here and uh, you can even uh, I think take a picture of someone so blah 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 and then go forward link the accounts and off you go totally separate account here Are we there? Ah, yes. And uh, you can choose a simple home, for example. Let's just see what that looks like. I'm quite fascinated. I've never actually put it on. <laughs> this looks weird. Wow. It's not really that simple. You know, that's quite a lot of stuff there. I'd get confused if I was a OAP. Uh, but uh, going back to my uh, kind of account here. Uh, that's not my number by the way, so don't even try and call it. So uh, here we have a, some other stuff to show you. Uh, I think you've seen the uh, Walkman app here, uh, which uh, has a material design uh, and uh, some of the kind of audio settings here, which uh, goes to a blue design, which is nice. All your sound effects are still there that we know and love with Sony. And uh, I think the dial is the other major thing which is looks a lot cleaner now than it used to. Uh, if we just uh, call something, show you how it looks when you call in. I like the way it kind of slides up there, very nice and sophisticated. Check your and allowances, or top up, press one. But how do you... The... You're calling from, ah, there you press go. two. If you're calling about a different account, Press 3. Or to speak to our sales team about buying a new phone, press 4. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. So uh, you can see that it's very nice and clean, and uh, it's uh, very uh, conforming to a nice cohesive design now. I do like Sony's skin, it's one of my favourites in fact on Android. It's very clean and uh, just gets the job done with minimal fuss. 
uh, and if we have a quick look at the camera it is uh, quite nice this camera on the Z3 Compact obviously it's a uh, 20 megapixel and uh, you get the same very nice performance here so it's uh, quite quick to focus and has excellent low light capability uh, but nothing much in the way of changes that Lollipop's brought on you get all your stuff that you're used to which is quite nice and uh, I'm wondering what else I can show you I can have a look at some of the other stuff here uh, such as the album so uh, that looks uh, quite similar to what you're used to uh, movies So not much there really, it's quite uh, spartan if you ask me, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, I think I'm going to just run a quick little Antutu here uh, to see how the performance is and I'll leave the old score in the description box for your reference and we can go. So we've come to the end of the test and uh, we can have a look at the result here. So as we can see we're getting 43323 which is above the HCC 1M8 which is very nice uh, but just below the OnePlus One uh, and I think that uh, is a quite good score here. Uh, you know, considering this has got two gigs of RAM, so one gig less than the Xperia Z3 normal, so you're gonna get some very nice performance off this uh, build, I think. Uh, and uh, the graphical component looked very nice and smooth as well. So uh, I'm definitely enjoying uh, this uh, build of uh, Lollipop here for the uh, Z3 Compact, and uh, as with the other devices, quite easy to get on your device. Just uh, if you download the uh, file, which I'll leave in the description box, uh, and then uh, use the flash tool, you can get it on very quickly there. Uh, very nice and easy. So, uh, you know, I think that you should definitely check it out. It's an excellent uh, build here. Uh, Sony definitely know what they're doing when it comes to maintaining their older devices. Well, then again, this is quite a new one. So, but yeah, uh, just a quick little video here looking at the Z3 Compact on the latest software. Hope you did enjoy, and if you did, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.